last night, and you may have noticed it too. I want you to take a look. Look at the guy in the plaid shirt to the left of the president. He's screen left, but actually he's standing behind the president's right shoulder, okay? So you can see him making faces and even seeming to mouth something in response to the president's speech. Watch this. It's hard and harder to win than popular vote. Popular vote, you go to three, four states and boom, 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 you win the, it's like the hundred yard dash versus running the mile. You practice differently. She forgot that. She forgot to go to a couple of very important states. <laughs> His reactions to the president's comments went viral, earning him the nickname plaid shirt guy on social media. Well, his real name is Tyler Linfesti, and he is a senior at Billings West High School, and he joins me now. Tyler, thank you for joining us. Good evening. You have become a viral hey. sensation since this rally uh, last night. I want to play another clip, and then we're going to talk. Here it is. We've picked up a lot of support because at some point, this whole thing is going to be exposed. More Americans are working today than ever, ever, ever before. <laughs> I think that was a not true. But listen, you're, you're not a Republican, at, at, but you're not a Trump supporter. In fact, you were wearing a Democratic Socialist America no. pin, which you're wearing now. Why were you there? Yes. Uh, well, I originally signed up to go to the rally about a week before uh, the rally was going to happen. I brought three of my friends with me, and honestly, I just wanted to go just to, you know, see the president and uh, hear what he had to say. I mean, I'm not going to pass up the opportunity to see the president of the United States. Yeah. Well, so, Tyler, were you deliberately making faces, or was that a natural reaction? Um, all of those reactions were my actual reaction. Um, I would have made those faces uh, if anyone were to say that to me. Uh, I, was not, I was not trying to protest. Uh, those were just my actual honest reactions. Uh, yeah. So what was it like? Because we know the president often says things that are not true, but the people there are eating it up. Yeah. Do you think they know it's not true? You did. You were like, right. well, that, you, were, you said at one point not true, and then you said what? And I think you said, yeah. have you, when he said he's gained more supporters? Right. Yeah, I said, have you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, each time I see one of these rallies, you know, I see people behind Donald Trump clapping and cheering and being super enthusiastic. And I've always wondered myself, you know, are those people really being genuine? Uh, so when I got back there, I knew that I was going to be genuine. I was going to give my actual reaction to the things he said. So whenever I disagreed with him, you could tell that I disagreed. Uh, but whenever I agreed with him, you know, I clapped, I clapped as well. You know, at one point he uh, railed against NAFTA. I, I personally don't like NAFTA. Um, at one point he said uh, he thought that uh, the primary election was stolen away from Bernie Sanders. I clapped at that as well. I also think that the primary was started, stolen away from Bernie Sanders. Uh, but, yeah, there are also plenty of things I disagreed with, as you saw. Yeah. Uh, you know... Uh, he talked about his tax plan a lot. Um, I, you know, 82% of the benefits of the tax plan go to the top 1% of Americans. Uh, so clearly this tax plan was not for the middle class. You know, it didn't help, didn't help people like me, uh, people like my friends. Okay, so then during the, at some point they realized, right, that you were, I guess they weren't happy with what you were doing. And then they sent someone in yeah. to replace, to relieve you. <laughs> And then they also replaced your two friends, yeah. even though they weren't making the same facial expressions that yeah. you were, right? Why, why were you and they told to right. leave? What did they tell you? Well, I think, I think they, they didn't really tell me anything. Um, but, I mean, I, I think I know why they removed me. It's because, well, before the rally, they told us that, you know, you have to be enthusiastic. You have to be clapping. You have to be cheering for Donald Trump. Uh, and I wasn't doing that because, you know, I wasn't enthusiastic and I, I wasn't happy with what he was saying. So I think... So it's like they warm some, you up before like a talk show or, of, or like a game show by getting you excited. They tell you you have to be enthusiastic? Yes, they told us we had to be enthusiastic. Uh, they, they tried to make me and my friends wear the, the, the MAGA hats, the Make uh, America Great Again hats. Uh, I was not wearing one, as, as you saw, yeah. So uh, the woman, she came in and she just said, uh, I'm, I'm going to replace you. Uh, and I just, I just walked off. I knew I was getting kicked out for not being enthusiastic enough. 
So I decided just to not, not to fight it. Uh, and then just some Secret Service guys escorted me into like this back room area. And um, yeah, they just, they sat me down for 10 minutes, looked at my ID, and then just told me to leave. Very respe respectfully, respectfully uh, told me to uh, just leave and not come back. Uh, you're officially known as plaid shirt guy. There are memes on the internet, people yep. saying, buy that guy a beer. Another one says, not all superheroes wear capes. Some of them wear plaid shirts. How does your newfound fame right. feel? Uh, it feels on it, it feels unbelievable. I mean, I can't really comprehend um, everything that's going on. It's, but, like the past 24 hours have been completely insane. Uh, you know, I see people like people at school recognize me. Hey, that's plaid shirt guy. It's like, yeah, that's me. That's hard to believe. You know, at, at first you hear plaid shirt guy, and you like, like, what is that? And then you realize, oh, that right, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations. Uh, I, you made our day. That everybody in the studio is laughing, and we love you. We think you're hilarious. And listen, yeah. you're an American, and yeah. you can express yourself, and, and you did it, and you know, more power to you. Thanks for coming on, okay? Yep. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you.